Welcome to Comfort Habit number two. The name of this video is Society Has Failed Our Children. Somewhere along the line, when you were growing up, from the diapers to grade school, when I was in the fourth grade, I learned about sex. We didn't learn about the woman's part because we're men. And boys are only taught the male genitalia. The boys are only taught what happens, what dreams, how to apply a condom, you know, necessary stuff. But we are not taught about the woman's body. We are not taught about breast buds. We are not taught about vaginas. We are not taught about any of that crap. It's pretty much, this is your penis, this is a condom, off you go. We are not taught about the consequences of what happens when you have sex. Failure number one. When you do not teach children right, this is how things go exceptionally wrong. Understand that things go very wrong, very fast, and we as humans are humans. We are entitled to make some mistakes, but we're not entitled to teach the mistakes to the children so that they make the same damn mistakes. We are entitled to teach the children the mistakes so that they don't make the mistakes. Having kids before you have a plan. Unprotected sex, uh, STDs, and my favorite of all, which mostly only comes to you girls. Mm. If you have this guy's baby, he's going to stay with you forever and ever. That's as feminine as I'm going to get. And it's also the biggest fucking lie that has ever come from anybody's mouth. And I'm not one who tells lies, except for that one that I just told. No matter what a boy tells you do not get pregnant by this motherfucker because he's not going to stick around now if he has a good upbringing if he comes from a good family and a good background he might but that's a 50 50 chance don't take 50 50 chances with your life there is no such thing as a hundred percent guarantee outside of death and taxes that's it we are all going to die. Point blank period. We are all going to die. But not every boy that you sleep with is man enough to be a daddy. You need to be taught this shit before you get your ass on your back. Before you start having sex doggy position. Before you start cowgirling the shit up. Before you ride that penis. You need to understand two things. There is nothing wrong with sex. There's something wrong when you believe your girlfriends who have been pregnant and believe the fucking lie that they were told, which is why they got pregnant, that that asshole did you have his baby? He don't want no baby right now. And he don't want a baby from you. And you need to know this shit before you enter any relationship. That'd be the first thing you say. You should say, look, I don't want to get pregnant. But if I do, what do you want to do? And if he says, I don't want a baby. And that's the last motherfucker you want to get pregnant by. Because he's honest from the jump. I don't want a baby. You should be able to engage with someone in a conversation before you have sex with them about babies. Because that's a consequence that comes with sex. It is a consequence. Yes, sex feels great. It's awesome. There's nothing wrong with a good lick and a big dick. But big dicks and good licks come with consequences. The D in dick means you're damned. The P in pussy means problems. The V in vagina might be victory for a hot minute or two, but then it comes with voluptuously victorious problems. And you have to understand, I'm not saying this stuff to be mean. I'm saying it because no one else is going to be honest with you enough to tell you. If I have a daughter, straight up, I'm going to tell her, look, I don't give a damn what you do, but you will not get pregnant before you are 21. I'm going to say, you want to make your daddy happy? I'm going to say, honor me by doing what I tell you to do. Do not get pregnant. I'm going to say, I can't stop you from having sex, but do not get pregnant. There are birth control pills. There are 
at morning after pills, there are condoms. Make sure that motherfucker's wearing one. Do not believe him when he says, I want you to have my baby. Especially when y'all are only 16. Your life is just fucking starting. And even when you're 21, no. You don't need a baby at 21. You need a career. You need a means to make money. You need your own place. Because that's what I had planned for my life before everything went to hell in a handbasket due to my siblings having babies without a fucking plan. I've been there. Because they let their girlfriends get in their ear about, hey, if you get pregnant by this guy, he's going to be great. He's going to be the best dad ever. He's going to be there for you. He's going to love you until the end of time. Don't listen to that bullshit that's coming out of your friend's mouth. Because not every guy that you have sex with because he has a good licking skills and a big dicking skills. That does not mean he is going to be there when you get knocked up. And no matter what that motherfucker tells you, you put a condom on his dick. And if you're a lesbian, you're good. Because another lesbian can't get you pregnant. But for those who are not lesbians, and those who are not gay or in the alphabet squad, you better heed my words while you are a young girl. Do not let your girlfriends get in your ears so you sacrifice your virginity to the fucking football team or the baseball team or the basketball team or anybody who's going to turn right back around and next week and call you a whore, a slut. They're going to tell you that your vagina stinks. All that crap. Don't subjugate yourself to that shit. Don't do it. It is not worth it. And for you women, all of you women who are teaching these young girls this bullshit about get pregnant, get pregnant. This nigga, get pregnant. Give the, ba- get, give the baby another sister. Don't do that. Don't preach bullshit to kids. Don't do that shit, especially if you've had like seven kids with really fucked up ass baby daddies who don't want to do their fucking job. There's a movie called Don't Be a Menace to, the, to Society While Living There, While Drinking Your Juice in the Hood. It was like a Marlon Wayans and whatever name movie. Where the guy was all messed up with the hair and had a serious big time RPG pulled out the back of the car. It was like mounted to the car. Do we have a problem? You're damn right you have a problem. Because there's a scene in there where he goes to meet this chick. And there's a fuck ton of kids on the thing. I think it might be five kids with four too many. There's an Asian kid, a black kid a Mexican kid and a white kid and the mom was black so the white kid was pure white probably shouldn't have really been there but if you look at my mom black people are the exception to the rule we we are multifaceted in color and all the kids at the same time when the guy showed up they said are you my daddy so that just made every man of every ethnicity not only look bad but just be bad and not only that it's the same thing with, you know, the woman that had all the babies. You know, the same women that pop up on the Maury show talk about something. You are not the father, like, 15 times. You don't want to be that girl. You don't want to be that chick that's running around We got nine baby daddies. It's only one baby, but you got nine baby daddies because you done had sex with, like, 25 men. And now this baby needs a father, but you can't find the asshole that you slept with. No. And Maury and them do their job. But had you been thinking the night before, had you put one of these damn things on, had you had the morning after pill, had you took precautions to not get pregnant by some asshole, you wouldn't be 45 men into the Maury Povich show. You are not the father. And have people backflipping and calling you all kinds of whores and bitches and sluts and shit on damn national TV and not only national but global because you know eventually everything does go to other um, nations and stuff you don't want to be the TV whore where everybody's gonna know your business because you know even though you signed the waiver, that TV show is going to be on the syndication. It's going to be somewhere. And you'll be on there with your face plastered everywhere because they're not going to blur it out. They're going to show you. And if you don't want to um, 
have your face showed, you have to request for that shit to be blurred out before they can even air it. Like, I'll come on the show, but I'm only going to come on if I come in incognito so that the entire universe doesn't see my face, you know, put me in makeup, make me look like somebody else, but don't have me out here, you know, um, in full gar, and everybody seeing me, knowing that I'm out here for like the fifth time, and we bought like, every time I've been here, we bought like nine men, so the entire universe thinks that I'm the biggest slut on the planet who had a baby. You can love all the sex you want, but it only takes one to get fucked up for life and to be stuck with some baby from some asshole who don't want nothing to do with you or the baby. You've only damaged yourself, and they are not teaching you well in school if you're going to be one of those girls that just decided, hey, this is going to happen. I'm going to get pregnant by Bob, and I'm going to keep his baby, and I'm going to fuck Bob every chance I get on child support and everything else. First and foremost, whoever taught you that shit was wrong, because men have rights. And if you're going to make a man pay child support, he's going to fight you. He's also going to fight to see the child. If you refuse to see the child, you guys are going to be tangled up in court for years. He's also going to fight for a DNA test to make sure that the child is his, because he's going to know that you aren't Molly, and you got around. Young men, you are not a, uh, free from this subject. You are just as guilty, if not more guilty. If you are going after a girl just to have sex, and you play the game, and you get into a relationship just so you can have sex and tap that ass, wrong, yes. But if you get her pregnant, that's on you too. And you need to know this because you got her pregnant. So whatever dumbass is telling you, you know, yeah, it feels great without condoms. Maybe it does. I've never had sex without a condom except for one time. But I never got to finish. Because she couldn't go more than ten minutes. And I'm not a two-minute brother. So that's how that worked out. Maybe too much information for you. Or too damn honest. The point of the matter is that inside of your testicles is Sperm City. Sperm City does not give a damn at where you place that seed into that woman's egg. You could be messing with a... I think the new word y'all call women now are thoughts. T-H-O-T or whatever the hell it is. I have no idea. It's an acronym, but I don't know what the frack it means. Back in my day, they called them sluts or easy-peasy girls. You know, I never had sex with those girls. No. Or rarely any girls, because girls just see me as an ugly man. And that's cool. They have the right to have their opinion. But as an ugly man and a wise man I may be, you boys are just as guilty, if not more guilty, if not worse. Because you will work hard to get that girl, and then if she only gives it to you one time, you'll go out of your way to make her look like a slut, or a thot, or a bitch, or a whore. And you will tell everybody that, oh, she smells awful, she can't take dick, she... Don't know how to rat dick. She don't know how to suck dick. She don't know how to do whatever the hell it is that y'all do. And you are the father. You know. And, you know, this is how this stuff works. Because no one's teaching you kids what not to do. They're only teaching you kids what to do. Stay tuned for part two of what not to do.